What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zenny Trav, and I'm back with another video, man. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you like the video, I will appreciate it. Today, we got 50 Cent Leaks video, French Montana. All it up. So, without further ado, let's get straight to this video, man. King! <clears throat> Cut you better stay with my name out of his mouth. I get tired of hearing him, and then I won't make it so his mouth can't work. <laughs> Me becoming a free agent. Right. Do you and Puff part on good terms or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. great so, term. Because you you fulfilled everything. And... Yeah, I fulfilled it. Happy birthday, French. I'm coming, baby. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear French. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Frenchie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> we deserved it. Right. We deserved it. Do <laughs> you feel me? We deserved it. Get all the performances ready around the world, baby. So 50 Cent just went all in and leaked a video of French Montana and Diddy that has gotten the internet going absolutely nuts. And let me say this, this is not your average party clip. We're talking about French Montana being all oiled up and involved in those so-called freak-offs with Diddy. And allegedly Diddy and French Montana had this thing going where they would take part in freak-offs for each other's birthdays. <laughs> Now, 50 Cent is known for trolling rappers who party with Diddy, but this, this feels personal. Leaking this video is giving calculated revenge, and now we're also hearing that 50 will dedicate a special part of his upcoming documentary on Diddy to French Montana and Diddy's relationship. But it doesn't stop there because French is now officially spoken out and addressed the rumors about being Diddy's favorite freak-off partner. So exactly what kind of tapes did French Montana and Diddy make together, and what did French say about 50? 50 cent trolling him. Let's get into it. To the show. What's up, big brother? How did you two come together? I'm, this is really a special relationship. Oh, boy. Welcome to the show. What's up, big brother? How did you two come together? I mean, this is really a special relationship, so this is uh, yes. this is big for both of you, but how did you come together? Love. Okay. Team On love. a website, or, like, what, what is that? <laughs> So if you've been paying attention to the streets, you've definitely heard the long-standing rumors about French Montana being a little too close to Diddy. And let's be real, it's not industry whispers anymore. People have been talking about their suspect photos for years. Take this photo, for example. At first glance, it might seem harmless. Just two guys chilling, right? But zoom in on Diddy and French, and you can see why people are out here speculating that they look a little bit more like they're spooning than just hanging out. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. And let's not forget that Diddy literally named a flavor of Ciroc vodka after French. Not only that, but over the years, they also took multiple exotic vacations together. Where the boys at? Hi. Hello. Hello. Merry Christmas. Excuse me, I need the phones, guys. I need the phones. I need the phones. I need the phones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Quincy, I know you have two phones, Quincy. Oh, there you go. That's what I love. Yeah. Just now fast forward to summer 2023 when Drake came into the mix. He teamed up with Diddy to executive produce French Montana's documentary. And while that sounds all business and professional on the surface, word in the streets is that these favors from Diddy may have come with some serious strings attached. Allegedly, French had to pay him back by joining in on some behind the scenes freak offs. Well, French Montana and Diddy's relationship. has always raised eyebrows, it's no secret that they've been tight for years. And rumors have sparked time and time again that they may have been more than just friends. Well, French has never shied away from gushing about how Diddy helped his career. But could it be that he paid the price for that loyalty in more ways than one? I What's the student. biggest thing, greatest thing you learned from Puff? Or the biggest thing or the one you always go to? Um, honestly, nothing. Really? I just learned, I, just, I, I think the biggest thing is him giving me the opportunity to be next to him, to learn from him. Because mm 
you know, people that's always in the mood, like they, they don't, they don't, you know, teach you things. You just gotta sit back and learn from them. Observe. Yeah, observe and learn. I think me, me, me standing next to them, and learning that you don't have to make music to be top five on the Forbes, or you know, learning how to create your own product and become a successful entrepreneur. I think that that was like the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. But as far as advice, I think, you know, we each learn different. I think I learned more from just being next to him mm. and seeing him operate and things like that. Now, for some context, French Montana-born Kareem Carbouche originally comes from Casablanca, Morocco. His family moved to the South Bronx when he was just 13 years old. And after his father went back to Morocco a few years later, French had to step up and help support his family. Which when my father left and my mother didn't speak no English and we didn't speak English and, and taking that chance you know, yeah. taking that leap of faith. I feel like that's that's something that when every mother gonna see that, every mother gonna feel it in their heart because that's the thing that you do for your child when you want a better future for your and child. I don't wanna like... You picking rap as your hobby when you don't speak English. It's kind of like, you know, you're blind and you wanna be like Michelangelo, mm -hmm. you, know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, wanna, mm -hmm. yeah so it's kind of like, it was like picking <laughs> the hardest thing to do without speaking English. And that shows you when you have love and passion for something, nothing can stop you, I feel like. But, uh, well, French hustled his way through the music scene, releasing his first mixtape in 2007, and eventually caught Diddy's eye with his hit single, Shot Caller. In 2011, Diddy signed him to Bad Boy Records, and they became close very quickly. Well, when asked why he decided to sign French, Diddy said, it's obvious, his work ethic, his song-making, the effect he has on the youngins. If you ever been to one of his shows, every time he drops a record. Also, it's important, I'm from New York. I rep New York to the fullest. And for real, for real, can nothing move in this city without us being a part of it. So when he first linked up with French, he was out here saying that he had big plans for French's music career, talking about taking him to the next level, making him a superstar, and so forth. But instead of seeing French locked in the studio, Diddy started taking him on these lavish, exotic trips. Good morning. Hey, what's up, buddy? Good morning, buddy. How are you feeling today? Ramadan done? The Sally, we right here, baby. We gonna make some magic tonight? Excuse me? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> hey. Ramadan done? The Sally, we right here, baby. We gonna make some magic tonight. Oh, it's pause. <laughs> And it didn't take long before the rumors started swirling that French wasn't just Diddy's artist, but maybe something more, as in Diddy's new boy toy. Well, Diddy was right next to French at major events, especially these birthday parties. And the way hey Diddy man, was acting around... To the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. I'll appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video, man. Peace.